some of the most driven and influential women in the community have gathered here today for the 12th annual United Way Women's Leadership Breakfast. For seven consecutive years, the University of Miami hosts this event to recognize leaders dedicated to making a difference through philanthropy. This year's keynote speaker was Academy Award winning actress Goldie Hawn. Away from the spotlight, the Hollywood star showed us her humanitarian side. I lived in very humble beginnings. And mom would sit with me and she said, honey, I'm giving a dollar. And she said to me, I want you to know that when you grow up and you make money, she said, I want you to give 10 cents, honey, to that dollar, because people need us to do that. The multifaceted star established the Han Foundation in 2005 to become a children's advocate. The foundation provides children with the social and emotional skills to lead happier lives and improve their academic performance. Other speakers included this year's breakfast chair, Sue Cobb, former United States Ambassador to Jamaica, who was pleased with the turnout. These are women who want to do something, who are leaders in, in their areas, whatever they are, around uh, South Florida. It's fantastic. The Miller family, strong supporters of United Way, are no strangers to our Coral Gables community. They were this year's presenting sponsor, and Sue Miller was awarded for her leadership and community service. Another strong supporter is an educational institution located in our city, raising more than $1 million. The University of Miami is pleased to be one of the leaders in our community in raising funds for United Way. For nearly 90 years, United Way of Miami-Dade has been a powerful force transforming people's lives. We liken ourselves to a tribe of caretakers and people who actually can make something happen good for each other. That's us in this room. These are the anecdotes that left attendees inspired to continue their service in the community. For What's Happening Coral Gables, this is Tanya Leeds.